What's up guys, Evan here from Throttle, and I wanted to bring you guys up to speed with what's going on with obviously the COVID-19 stuff and how that affects Throttle. Are we gonna stop making videos for you guys? And the answer is no. Uh, we actually do have quite a bit of backlog. We have quite a few videos that have been recorded but not edited yet, and those are gonna be going up over the next week or so. We also have the STI project, which is getting super close to finishing, and we're super, super excited with how that's gonna turn out. Uh, that being said, we really don't know how long this is going to affect us, so you might see some different content. You might see some projects happening in my garage. You might see some projects happening at Mickey's or Ricky's garage, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be producing more and more content for you guys, so don't don't worry, we got you. If you're home and you don't have that much to do, uh, go back and check out some of our old videos. We've made a lot of pretty cool cars over the past two and a half years, um, and I'm pretty sure that most of you guys haven't seen every single episode. Please remember to wash your hands, drink lots of water, try to stay safe, guys. This is no joke. It's really, really getting super serious. Everyone needs to take responsibility uh, for themselves and for the people around them because it's possible that you know, you might not be showing symptoms, but you're able to actually contract that virus to someone else. Um, and people that are elderly or already have pre-existing conditions uh, are obviously a lot more susceptible to that. So we're going to do our best at Throttle. Um, you know, if you wanna support us, uh, as I mentioned, you can watch some of our previous videos. We are still shipping performance parts and merchandise. Every dollar you spend does give you an entry to win our STI. Uh, all that stuff's still happening. There's been no interruptions on the shipping side. Um, so yeah, if you wanna support us, uh, we sincerely appreciate you guys who uh, have already placed an order with us or who have joined Throttle VIP. Thank you guys so much for supporting us and uh, every order, every VIP membership um, just makes a huge difference for us. We are a small business. There's a lot of people who rely on Throttle for survival, right? Um, and uh, you guys who are watching this, you guys who are supporting us are help keeping this going uh, for as long as we can. So just wanted to say, be safe out there, guys. Uh, take it seriously, stay at home, watch some more content, and uh, enjoy today's video. You're live. I'm on it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well, we're back. Got a heap done yesterday, as you guys saw, and I'm excited. I've been dying to get in here this morning because we're about to put our fluoro yellow intake manifold on, and that's really gonna liven up this engine base. So the only issue with putting this in is I'm really nervous to scratch the paint because this is such a tight area. Hey, that's what she said. Just real quick, just for a high level recap, in case you missed yesterday's video, um, Ricky got the injectors in, he got new NGK spark plugs in, uh, we've got our new turbo inlet, uh, we've got the Perrin blow off valve, we've got a brand new alternator with a new serpentine belt, we've got uh, the Perrin front strut brace in that same floral yellow, the Grimspeed pitch mount, the Mishimoto uh, yeah. aluminum radiator. radiator. Shroud fans. Everything. Hoses. And what was really cool about this fan shroud was Ricky and I, as always, were prepared to start rewiring the fans into the factory wiring. But uh, Mishimoto gave us plug and play harness. So this is a, one of the simplest installs on the car. So here we go. We're going to set you down. I'm going to give Mickey a hand so we can uh, try to prevent any scratches or anything. And uh, I'm excited to see what this looks like.
All right, well, it's starting to look a lot better in here. We got a bunch more fluoro in, but uh, we did definitely take a step backwards. We did remove the uh, throttle body because we didn't like the placement of the blow-off valve. Basically, it's, it's gonna sit like right in here if we put it where the Mishimoto kit wants it located. However, Evan and I don't really care for that placement. We kind of want to move it back here op into an open area. And in order to do that, basically we have to connect to our turbo inlet pipe right here. And our throttle body sits here, which is kind of right in the way. And you can see like these hoses were already getting pinched pretty hard by the throttle body being just jammed in here. So we're fighting for space. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to try to use a piece of existing basically coolant hose that we have from an old Mishimoto radiator kit. So it looks basically like this. This is the part that came with the kit. Um, we want to jockey something under this cold side pipe and then bring it out over here with an angle on it so that it kicks our blow off valve into this area. So I've got a bunch of pipes over on the table. I'll show you guys and I'm going to try to make one of those work. Yeah. So you got a whole graveyard of tubes yeah. here. <laughs> so Shout out to Skunk too. This is actually um, a radiator hose kit I got for the F20 conversion swap. But since we're going to be doing all AN on that car, these are sacrificial uh, radiator hoses that we can use. Um, we have an old radiator hose from another project that's just sitting here. I don't even know what this one's from to be honest, but basically it's nice to keep a bin of extra hoses just in case. Now I want to try to find something that's this diameter but has a similar shape to this so that we know we can sneak past the throttle body but then we need a bunch more length here because we want to sneak this out the back. So let's see what we got. This looks pretty close right here maybe. Maybe even something like this though too. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's all going to be trial and error. Yeah. But, um, this may even work. Look at this. It looks like it's the right size. I think we might just try to fit this one in and see where we end up. So we're being really careful not to scratch our nicely new powder coated inner pillar pipes. This is just a recert for the blow off valve. So um, is it critical? Yes and no. It's basically just taking the air that we're blo or bleeding off the system and pushing it back into the intake tube. It's basically just a muffler for the blow off valve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think this one may actually work. work. Without so even really much. Cool is it, it avoids that, um, that fitting down there. Yep. And What's nice is it, the old one kind of snugged right through here and it actually was uh, directly underneath the throttle body which created an issue with fitment. This one actually sneaks away. So we're actually in pretty good shape with this one. I think let's put everything back in. And then you're gonna cut this somewhere, right? Maybe here, something like that. Trouble's here. What's up? Just making pipes, just laying some pipe. guys well a little update so here's our new Mishimoto radiator hose that we repurposed as our recirculation valve back to the intake uh, and now what we have to do is put our intercooler piping on for the, the cold side of the uh, intake system and plumb it back to here we yeah. need to run a vacuum hose for here yeah I think it's a way better solution than having it jammed in here banging in all these pipes and so then this pipe here goes basically on our intake um, well, not basically. It goes on our intake and unfortunately it passes right over top of the turbo and the heat shield. So I'm going to use some heat shield products. Um, I'm going to use an aluminized heat shielding on the bottom of this pipe to keep the heat off of our intake air. Should help keep the intake temps down just a little bit um, and it looks cool.
almost forgot before we buttoned up the intercooler piping to install this master cylinder brace from uh, Grimspeed. So this goes basically kind of right down in here. Um, so I'm gonna have to take off some of the fuel lines that Mickey just connected, but better do it now before we get fuel pressure and get everything in there. Um, so it's a really robust piece. Nice welds on here and it's got that nice uh, like wrinkle black coat with their logo printed on it right there. So I'll try to bring the camera in and show you guys where it goes, but um, the purpose of this is to really just improve uh, brake pedal feel. Sometimes uh, when you're doing really hard braking, the actual master cylinder itself will move and flex, and this is supposed to prevent that. So um, it's got this little threaded adjustment here. This right here, you guys can see that. This is the little part that's gonna sit right against the master cylinder and prevent that from flexing. Uh, during hard braking, so let's give it a shot. A little later. Ooh, no damage here. Let's see. There's not really too much to look at. All you can really see way down in there is uh, that little red aluminum piece. Um, but the master cylinder brace is now on. All the fuel stuff is back connected. Everything is tight. Um, so that project is knocked off the list. It was a little bit difficult to get to, um, but Grimspeed did actually have some pretty good instructions. Thankfully I read those um, and I did them in the right order. So that was not too bad. So let's hand the camera back over to Ricky. I think he's working on the short shifter. I'm gonna shift gears. Get it? Yes. I'm gonna be doing. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna be installing the short shifter in the car, in the wow. STI. Anyways, our short shifter is made by Carboy. And one of the great things about Carboy is like, our boy is literally right next to us. He's from San Diego. Made in the USA, all of his stuff, and so. And he's huge in the Subaru scene, so. So we're gonna be taking, I already took the shift now, Bob. I got ahead of myself. And then next thing is gonna be, I'm gonna be taking the whole center console out, this section off. Then that part, and then I'm gonna start figuring out how to install the short shifter in the STI, because I've never done one. You guys can see that I just took all the covers off. I already took the uh, reverse lock out and the pin that I punched out completely flew out and I can't find it. So I may have to go buy another kit so I can replace it. Uh, but anyways, um, next thing I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get wire cutter so I can cut the zip tie off. I'm gonna remove this cable and then I'm gonna take this bolt off so I can take the short shifter off. And I know at some time, at some point I'm gonna have to go to the bottom of the car, take the uh, mid pipe of the exhaust off so I can have access to this bottom portion of the short shifter. And yeah, let me get to work. And she's out. All right, so now that I took the uh, shifter out, I um, have to go under the car. We have two more bushings. We have the six-speed bushing rebuild kit from uh, Cartboy as well. And what it does is it just makes everything Cart boy, <laughs> fat boy. I didn't say fat boy. Uh, it's gonna be a lot stiffer. Guys, so I just finished taking the catalytic converter on the heat shield. If you guys can see up here, I'm gonna be replacing this bushing kit from Cowboys products and the same thing with these uh, two bushings on this side. It's gonna make everything nice and tight. You guys see this cable here, this, the reverse lockout. And if you look in here, I don't know if you can see the, the uh, Allen key. There's an Allen key that's holding the, uh, the lock at max droop. That way the cable is nice and loose. And yeah, let me get to work. All 
right, so I ended up taking this motor mount brace off just so I can make a little bit more space so I was able to get this off. Uh, so you guys see here, let me see if I can show you that light. This thing was bad. So it's a good thing we're replacing this. Uh, and then this is the bushing that we'll, we'll be replacing and it seems like it's a one piece bushing. So I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna put the Cartboy two piece bushing in. Guys, just got done putting the uh, carboy. Just got done putting the carboy uh, front bushing and the rear one, as you guys can see. Now it's boy. Cart boy. Now it's nice and solid. Uh, next thing should be is the catalytic converter and the O2 sensor and all that stuff. But first, I want to finish the top first to make sure that I did everything correctly, which I know I did. And then after that, uh, I'll come back down and I'll finish um, doing everything else. Cardboard. So here's the inside, and then this is the uh, the cardboard short shifter. I'm gonna push it in here. Hopefully, there you go, just like so. Then I'm gonna put the C clip in. Once I put the C clip C clip in, I'm gonna put the reverse lockout uh, through the hole over here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, right here. It goes up to the middle, and the pin that I lost goes through here, which I'm going to have to figure out when am I going to find the other one. Uh, yeah, and after that, I'm going to start putting it together. All right, guys, so there you have it. I have to light on myself so you guys can actually see. There you have it, she is in. Reverse lockout works. All right, well, Ricky did an absolutely killer job getting our Cartboy short throw shifter installed last night. And uh, this morning, I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the cherry on top, which is the new throttle shift knob, as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and toss it in real quick, and that should be the end of our shifter install. All right guys, well that's gonna be all the time we have for you today. We hope you're enjoying all this awesome Subaru content. We're having so much fun putting this car together and we're really looking forward to one of you guys taking this thing home to your garage at the end of the sweepstakes at the end of this month. If you guys haven't already made your purchases on throttle.com to get entered, every dollar you spend is an entry into win this bad boy. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for all your subscriptions. Turn on those notifications, leave us some comments. We love y'all, see you next time.